You probably know his works, his name, but not what he looks like. I'm talking of Banksy, a famous British graffiti street artist known for lots of social commentary, controversial topics, but always with a bit of a whimsical edge to it. Having just opened yesterday right here in Miami, Florida at the Ice Palace Film Studio is Art of Banksy Without Limits, and it's going to be running all the way until April. It's so new, in fact, that there was even one room that wasn't open yesterday, and they're bringing more stuff in from another exhibit. So when you come here, you're going to probably be seeing even more than what I'm showing you. And be sure to let me know you're enjoying this video by smashing the like button. Of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Check out Fat 1010, the everything channel of SoFlow and Beyond. Wide variety of content. Use the playlist to kind of navigate through if you want to see more art. There's a playlist for that, a whole ton of art. And anyway, let's go check it out. So this is humorous. Let's see what we got here. We got all these different prohibited items. So there's no uh, rats, no cocktails. I like this one. There's no no. No underwear, no uh, grenades, no unicorn, so you might want to consider that before coming if, if that uh, is going to be a problem. No nuclear bombs, you know, a whole bunch of things, and no octopus. So, anyway, we're going to enjoy our visit here at Dismal Land. And uh, just to make sure everything's nice and safe, we've got these uh, Scan Master 5s right here. Just gonna make sure we don't uh, go off. We've got a, a cardboard surveillance security camera there as well. And uh, yeah, look, we've got some shoes over here. We'll put those through. Hope I don't beat. It's funny, everything, you got the uh, garbage here, gloves, wand. What is this like, uh, oh, it's a walkie-talkie. Yeah, that was a taser gun at first. But there's cameras everywhere. And then, oh, just in case there's any, uh, any problems. So you can access a multimedia exhibit guide on your smartphone by scanning the QR code. And it's going to contain additional content, such as detailed text, related photos, videos that go beyond the exhibit signage. So I'm going to go close. You can always try this at home as well. Scan that. Like everywhere you look, when you come here, just always check on the floor for one of Banksy's little signature rats. Monty Python when they talk about how to disarm somebody armed with a banana. Okay, so you got K-1 
caveman going after shopping carts. seen it definitely check out the movie exit through the gift shop with Banksy and a lot of this will make a lot more sense he actually I think got arrested by Disney police him and the um, documentary filmmaker and they almost had their camera confiscated doing something crazy I don't remember what it was but at uh, Disney I think in Florida Kind of similar to the other one that we just saw. This one has a different image on the side there.
floor plan. There's no like, you can just kind of wander wherever you want. But I'm gonna just kind of stick to the Dismal Land theme first. I figured let's go through the archway of Dismal Land itself here. Now, from what I think I read, these are not actual, like, um, authentic works from Banksy, but rather recreations from a variety of artists. Don't forget, some of Banksy's works, you really wouldn't be able to even move. They might be painted on the sides of buildings or on, maybe there's one on a sculpture somewhere like that, you know. But it's really cool. It's a great way to just kind of get into the whole entire, like, history and vibe of Banksy. Oh, and that's cool. So the back of the arts I went through is a happy face right here. Got another little guy right here. I always love like at the theme parks, the maps and all that. So here is a map of Dismal Land. And once again, I, I, he built that. He really actually built this. So here we have 10 pounds and it's Princess Diana on there. And we've got Banksy of England. On the other side, we have the actual Bank of England. Waldorf Hotel Wall Sculpture, make hummus. There's the invoice. Okay, in the back, just looks like a bunch of popsicle sticks. But it's more of the Waldorf Hotel, as we saw before. Now we've got Banksy's take on the US dollar. There's that weird happy face with the eyes all off to the side, just like when we walk to the archway of Dismal Land here. See what the back has on it. Another Waldorf Hotel. I think that it's a little bit of a technical malfunction here because there's three projectors, two of them are on, and this one probably is not supposed to be showing that, but more images like this. So just kind of like ignore that. I'm sure they'll have that fixed when you come here to check it out. But right now it feels like we're in the London Underground, AKA the tube, or what you might understand as being a subway. And yeah, by the way, like today, the weather's been really dismal. Like, this, it's kind of funny, dismal land, and it's been just raining. This is a great thing to come to if it's a bad weather day here in Miami. Totally indoor attraction. It's not going to matter one way or another how the weather is. paint. Banksy's tool of the trade. Ziggy Stardust, that's David Bowie's signature makeup for that. Just in case you don't know or you haven't figured it out yet, yes, Banksy, even though we have no idea what he looks like or what his real name is, we do know that he is British.
I love this one. I think it's pretty easy to guess who banks you spoofing on this one. <laughs> Been seeing the rats popping up everywhere. Here he is again. Banksy's always uh, had critiques and criticisms of consumerism, as you can see here. Just a ton of shopping bags. Always mocking that in his work. Consumerism, capitalism, all these things. Of course, without a world of capitalism and consumerism, he probably wouldn't be as big as he is. So, kind of a double-edged sword on that one, huh? Oh, and here is the info on the Happy Shopper. And it's very much set up just like, you know, a regular art gallery. Different little alcoves of works, and then there's some big ones that kind of like take the center here and there. I think here he's kind of mocking perhaps auctions, art auctions, where even his work was sold. And uh, there was one case where he had his work attached to some sort of paper shredder built into the frame, and right when somebody bought it, it just turned on and shredded the artwork. That's just, you know, the epic, classic Banksy, full of surprises. I guess is like in the way of that circular saw coming right at him. talking to that poor guy right over there. Okay, I'm back out in the main hub area. So we saw all that. like this one if you know what a hermit crab is it's kind of like playing on that where you have some of them without their protective shell and uh, this guy is being a real capitalist over here he's he's renting them out so they're not getting them free I mean like here's some open ones here but they they want that shell they got to pay for it
Oh yeah, I love this one. Okay, what's he throwing? Is it a protester, a rider? Are we hearing about peaceful protests? Well, this guy's actually a peaceful protester. <laughs> He's just throwing some bouquets of flowers. If only it could be like that in real life, huh? Yeah, this was made with threads of a life jacket vest. Now in this room, it seems like there's some more technical difficulties with uh, video. They really need to get, I guess, uh, an IT person on this. So unfortunately we can't, I can't show you what would normally be in here, but I'm sure they'll probably get it working by the time you come here. This is like the third day of this exhibit and it's gonna be running for many months. So it's not gonna really matter if I start showing what these things say, but we kind of get an idea, I guess, what is this? Okay, a ship, I don't know, rescue ship. Maybe though we could still supplement that with the information on the app. This is a very iconic image, probably like one of the first images I ever saw of Banksy. go with Kate Moss, Andy Warhol style. Not sure of the original inspiration, just look up Andy Warhol and Marilyn Monroe. have to be there are some real ones here like this is real 32 of 350 I didn't even know that Banksy did that like lithographs so you can buy She's just adorable. So when you come here, make sure to look everywhere. Look up, look down, look down for the rats that are on the bottom of the walls. But also look up. Some works up there too. It would kind of be fun if they made it interactive where you have to like find each rat. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. Once again, if you want to check this out, playing this on a TV or a phone or whatever, just get another phone, scan it. Okay, the piece continues here.
kind of wonder if Banksy is a fan of Planet of the Apes. Oh, that one's creepy. That looks like uh, Momo. Yeah, okay, so it's a parody on the famous Demi Moore Vanity Fair cover. But yeah, that face totally looks like Momo, which was actually from another artist sculpture, a Japanese artist that made that weird looking creature. And then somebody came up with the whole Momo thing and turned it into a whole like evil sensation that was like worldwide, you know, freaking people out actually right here on YouTube. Yeah, look at that. Look at those Momo eyes. show how when we're all the way back here you know because it's kind of like a photo mosaic it looks kind of clear on that face and then of course when we come in blurry 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 so what is this an oil on canvas painting okay it's like this is an animated version I guess we used to laugh but now we are in charge It's interesting. I mean, we are actually, I guess, looking at a painting, but they're using lighting to illuminate certain sections. That's pretty cool, actually. It makes it feel three-dimensional. That's weird. It's like got all... Yeah, it's like they're projecting something on top of it. Very interesting. Kind of like projection mapping, but on a painting. Usually you'll do projection mapping like on a blank surface, such as the structure of a building. But in this case, they're putting it over, I guess, an actual painting. Pretty cool. And, you know, here's a projector. Oh, wow. I just had to see it. It's, it keeps changing. So that's a really kind of dramatic one there. I like that. There's a little banana that's appearing in his hand. This is actually a very cool idea to do in general for paintings where you just kind of put a projection map over it. Wow. That's a really cool idea. And if it looks blurry, that could be because it's just, if you even move the canvas accidentally like a half an inch, it's going to throw it off. You have to be very precise. So that's probably where the little blurriness comes from. Just a little fine tuning to get it perfect.
almost missed right over here. Got one more little guy down here. What is he driving like? No, I don't know if he's driving something. I can't figure out what's going on there. It looks like a cowboy rat or something. Yeah, it's a little step down here, a little sunken section. It's how it works. It's kind of actually an exit area. Maybe it was a personalized one that he wrote. Thanks, Lavrin. It's Dorothy and Toto. There's the signature rat. And it's really dark in here. This is kind of where I really love using this new camera to get shots like this. And uh, I'm going to just kind of boost it with a little light from my phone anyway, just to kind of see more detail. But they want you to see it this way, but let's just see a little bit more. There, boom, there we go. I didn't notice that before. The toilet's disgusting. <laughs> Look at there, like a, there's like a pooper scooper or something going on there. Toothpaste, the rats, you got that old fashioned like Tom and Jerry little mouse hole floor over there. Or I guess in this case a rat hole. And again, you can always pause the video, everything's in 4K, so you'll be able to read everything. So I guess they're trying to show how this was like on the side of a building, so the original doesn't even exist. So this is why, you know, there are some recreations here as would need to be, because this doesn't exist anymore, except I guess in photographs of the original. Uh, this I hate. I love animals, I, I just hate this. I'm not a vegetarian, but just, oh God. See images like that, it makes you want to become one. Like that. That's 
interesting. They're saying that that's an iconic logo, British popular music entertainment firm, same name, HMV, but it kind of reminds me of RCA, the phonograph. I like that, the way the barcode is an actual, like, bars of a cage, and then that animal kind of, you know, ripped those open, bent them open, escape through. Uh, another one of the walled off hotel images. This one's cool, it's got a little turret. That would be some scary crossbreeding right there. Don't give the people ideas out there in the dog breeding world. Thanks. Gangster ad over here. Very similar to the other one. Seems like still some technical difficulties with the video displays. But we kind of saw one of these over in the main section and that was working. And another rat right down here. And he says, You lie. Another one of these gangster rats over here. Saw that imagery before. I like the idea here. We're kind of mixing a very old school painting, something a long time ago, and bringing it right into sci fi. <laughs> It even extends beyond the frame itself. That's cool. That's kind of like a, an acrylic or something up there, and you just put it right there, line it up with that beam. Very cool. album. Oh, right, right. It's with uh, Diver. I have this on CD. That's it right there. Think Tank. That's the cover. Yeah, I had this before I even knew who Banksy was. I remember I always liked the artwork on it. Okay, so this is probably the sleeve that's inside with the record. So this goes with that right there. And again, if you don't know who Blur is, Damon Alburn, lead singer, eventually created Gorillaz. And most likely you know who Gorillaz is with the awesome little animated characters and awesome music videos. And probably the most famous song from Blur would be that song number two, the one that goes woo-hoo.
was just talking to one of the staff here, and there was another exhibit that they have in Atlanta that just ended like yesterday, and there's some other ones elsewhere and around the world, and they're actually going to be bringing in more pieces, because I was asking about some pieces I had seen online. So things like the melted phone booth or the shredder with the art, things like that might be coming here, might. They're going to probably be adding things, changing things, and this is going to be running until April here in Miami. And once again, Exit Through the Gift Shop is also the name of the documentary movie about Banksy. And here we go out into the gift shop. We are literally exiting through the gift shop. His various works. Here we have a poster. So over here, cosmetic bags, twenty-five dollars. There is always hope. Various stickers over here. There's these two. Peaceful protester. And that one. Those are three dollars each. Magnets are up here. These are all eight dollars. Moving along, patches are ten dollars each. It's one of the T-shirts. Let's see what the back of that looks like. It's the name of the exhibit. Art of Banksy Without Limits. Socks for $20. Some more t-shirts over here. Yeah, these don't have anything on the back. These are more with the graphics on the front. $50 for the hoodies. Another shirt with that Paramount kind of theme going on there. Like that paranoid pictures. Trucker hats are thirty dollars each. It shows art of Banksy on it. Kind of a mesh, open mesh design. More T-shirts here, and also some bags with "There Is Always Hope" on them. They also have masks for fifteen dollars. And just to know, if you're wondering, as of today, anyway, January sixteenth, you do not need to wear a mask at this event here in Miami. The tote bags are $22. Here's the back of that, or the front. Also have mouse pads for $20 each. Let me know in the comments, do you even use a mouse pad anymore? I use a wireless gaming mouse, but I never use it, uh, never use a mouse pad anymore. Postcards, $3.00. Some drawstring bags over here for $25. And there's also some posters, $25 each. And each one on the bottom shows the exhibit, The Art of Banksy Without Limits. Here's a closer look at all that pricing. And again, there's gonna be more merchandise coming in and more exhibits as well. See, actually the opening day got canceled. So yesterday, Saturday the 15th was the first day and it was still so new that this room wasn't even open yet. So you could really say that today is like the first day of being able to see it completed. And they are gonna bring more stuff in, more uh, things for the exhibit and also more merchandise again. They had another show that just wrapped up so more stuff is coming So again, you're gonna experience a lot more when you come here than what you're seeing in this video And we just walk right back out and we're in front of Ice Palace Film Studios. Yes, this actually was a movie studio and I think it used to be before that was an actual place that manufactured ice. And right here off to the side, a little seating area. 
Just to know they do have valet parking. Valet parking is $20. You can also find some street parking around the area. Yeah, to see this area really come to life, check out my video of Beyond Van Gogh, an immersive experience here at the Ice Palace Film Studios. And yeah, it's really nice. You got these hammocks, chickens that are like everywhere. It's a great, great facility for events. So I would really recommend whenever there's something you want to see and you see it's at Ice Palace Studios, come out here and enjoy it. It's a wonderful venue for special events. you enjoyed that tour of Art of Banksy Without Limits, let me know by smashing the like button. And be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell. Come along on other adventures here at Fat 1010, the everything channel of SoFlo and beyond. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.